around here. We do it big. On the escalade, party as chased, flipping bows to get extra paid. Around here, we do it big. There's some lingy bling, smoking on that sticky stuff. Salute everybody in the chat. We got the one, the only Mises in the building. I appreciate it. And you came up with the track, White Lives Matter. So you don't feel like with the, uh, doing songs like White Lives Matter and shit like that is throwing like fire on, like fuel on the fire, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I guess, but for me, I don't see why, that's all. I, I think that everything I said in it in the song is, is pretty common knowledge, it should be, you know. Um, I don't have an issue with black lives. Uh, I don't have an issue with anybody lives, man. I have an issue with BLM. And I think if anybody does their homework on that organization, you, you should have an understanding of why. And if you don't, that's good. I, I don't, I ain't mad at nobody who thinks, hey man, you, they're crooks, man, they're crooked. And people don't like when, when you say truth unapologetically from an unpopular perspective, and that's just the world we live in. But the, the bottom line is, man. True that. Most, most honestly, bro, I'll be, I'll be dead. I, I, no. I, like, I wasn't even gonna tune in, man, but, but after we were able to kind of, I think, um, if somebody said that shit, what you thought? Yeah, that was me and you. That was me and you. Okay, all right. So, but, like, I mean, I, if you thought I actually said that, yeah, then respect, because like, no, no, that's just not racist. Me. That, shit, that would be some racist shit to say. I think our entire country is ran by people, for the most part, who no longer um, have America's best interest in mind. I think everything. I think every, every single facet of society has been infiltrated by, um, by people who are very intelligent, very strategic, and very evil. And I think they want to, they want to destroy America. I think, that's, I think that America is, is under attack from within. But if they can get us fighting each other, uh, which is exactly what they are doing and what is happening. Um, and we're we're the whole on the time, inside. Yeah, and hypocrites. Every single human being is a fucking hypocrite, and there's hypocrites in every single facet of society. Teachers are hypocrites. Cops are hypocrites. Fucking doctors are hypocrites. Your parents are hypocrites. You, whoever the fuck I'm talking to, is a fucking hypocrite. Everybody's a fucking hypocrite. But all it's real easy when, when like, all of a sudden it matters morally. Oh well. So again, when I take that to America and on, on a bigger perspective, it just pisses me off because everybody's got a fucking problem when i say everybody i mean the people that do everybody's got a fucking problem with america but that but they're still here because there ain't nowhere fucking better to go and there is a place that is better to go however i haven't gotten the the green light to go it is called the bermuda triangle of alaska i thought you were about to say i thought you was about to say canada i was gonna say you that's what i was about to say no 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 no, no, no. hear me out i think make i think making songs like that so okay, let me let me rewind real quick to answer this question a little more. And it's like you want to say you want to get on the fucking top of the highest table and scream it as loud as you fucking can because because that's the only way anyone's gonna hear you in a fucking toxic, fucked up, crazy environment. And I always used to use that metaphor as that's that's Kanye. Kanye's that dude that's got something important to say in a crazy, toxic fucking environment. So he has to resort to theatrics to get fucking attention. And I, anybody who's on some racist shit, I think is a piece of shit. And, and God forgive me because God, whatever, right? Okay, like I shouldn't say that probably about God's creation. But at the end of the day, I think that's a piece of shit mentality. I'll put it that way. I can separate art and person all day. And he he lost me when he started saying fuck you know and fuck you. Uh, I don't want you as a fan if you you know you know and whatever. That's his way of passionately saying he means how much he fucking means it. Like I don't even. But it's just like bro, that's that's where you you just became lame as fuck to me because it's like you live in America where you're supposed to respectfully disagree. That's the whole, that's what makes this thing work because. Nobody's gonna see eye to eye, bro. We all have different stories. We all walk from different paths. We all, you grew up here, I grew up there. You had this life experience, I had that life experience. I, I blah, 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 blah. I had this family, you had that family. Like, nobody's got, that's the whole thing that makes this melting pot fucking beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Our black lives absolutely matter. White lives absolutely matter. Everybody's lives matter. I was on the front lines when that shit happened, when, like in Detroit, yeah. and they took, but they was talking about that. It was more about, if you said anything, any lies matter, blue lies matter, whatever lies matter, 
that it was just an anti-protest against the right. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And literally, people watch people watch people. Just like when you said a Christian rapper, and I said I'm not a Christian rapper. I've never, I've never marketed myself as a Christian rapper. I've never, never tried to say I'm a Christian rapper. Yeah. And that was a motherfucking interview with Mises. Shout out to the homie Mises. What'd you think of the uh, of that mumble rap? Did you watch the mumble rapper uh, video? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who is that? That's an actual mumble rapper, dude. That, uh, that's him. That's no pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 we we do funny shit on the show too. We was trying to be like a hood Saturday Night Live Mad TV because we got to laugh in these fucked up times. Tell no, tell no pants. Uh, he'll be uh, no knees. <laughs> tell him, tell him, don't make me uh, hit up my my old the old family, the old country. <laughs> <laughs>